So many people know about TED-Ed from the perspective of getting great videos, but a lot of people don't know everything that the TED-Ed website actually has to offer. So that's what we're going to explore right now. If you go to ed.ted.com, um, you will see that there is an educator page. And the first thing you would want to do is create a free account. Okay, so um, TED-Ed is free, completely free. Uh, it allows you to create lessons around a video, but it also allows you to go in and discover lessons that have already been created that you can just grab and utilize for your classroom. So let's take a look here at the Discover menu. If I go to Discover, I can either discover lessons or I can discover a series. And so a series is discovering videos organized by themes. I typically go in and discover a lesson that is based on a video. Okay, so you can do either, but just to show you one of them, if I go into Discover here, um, you'll see that I can uh, sort by subjects. So maybe I want something related to science and technology, and maybe I'm interested in environmental science. And you can see that it is now sorting for me everything that's available within an environmental science. Okay, you can also go over here and sort by um, most videos, views, and things like that. Um, so whatever you want to do in terms of um, the, the sorting process. When you get to one of these um, and open it, you will see that these are full-fledged lessons. So the way that they work is that there's this Let's Begin section built in that gives you a little bit of information and then you're supposed to watch the video. After you've watched the video, it will take you on to the Think section, which is questions about the video. And you can tell that this one has eight different questions. So some of them are open-ended, some of them are multiple choice questions. After you've answered the questions, you would go on to the Dig Deeper section. And Dig Deeper usually gives additional resources to support whatever the um, focus of the lesson is. Okay, so you can see stuff in here with hyperlinks to go out to and everything else. And there's there's also a discussion question built in. So you can um, come in here and you see there are three different uh, discussion things built in and you can uh, click to start a discussion. So basically this um, it, 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 the concept is is that we're creating a lesson based on a video okay because we often use videos in the classroom to help us support content but um, we don't use them very effectively often right we're showing the students the video we're asking them questions later but we're really really not getting into depth about the video itself when you create one of these lessons yourself based on a video you can actually go in and tag uh, what time students can look at in the video to find the answer to the questions that you're asking and things like that. Okay, so that's how you would go out and discover other people's lessons. Um, if I then want to use one of these lessons, I can say customize this lesson. It's going to then throw me it, it, it into my personal account and then I can actually edit parts of it as well. Okay, so you can actually use somebody else's creations in here, sort of make them your own. So this is all open source material. The other thing you can do is just go to create. And you can see in the create options here that you can create a lesson, um, you can create students talks, and that's basically for students to do. Um, there are also educator talks available. So most of the time I come in and I go create a lesson. Uh, the first thing it has you do is either search for a video, video or go ahead and plug in the URL of a video that you know of, okay? After you do that, it will specifically walk you through the steps of, okay, what do you wanna say at the beginning before they watch the video? What questions do you wanna ask? And you can go in and build your questions. Then you can go in and add those follow-up resources, and if you want to, you can add a discussion in. OK, um, what happens then at the student end is that you shoot these lessons out to your students. So I'm going to go up into my account. You can see here and I'm going to go to my notifications. There we go. And you can see my lessons over here. So these are all lessons that um, I have created. If I want to take a lesson and share it, I hit the share button here and notice that there are different ways that I can share it, okay? So if I copy the lesson link, 
uh, I can just give students the link or put the hyperlink in my LMS so that my students can access it from there. I can also share via email if I want to. Um, and then uh, I can also come in here and review student work. So once my students have completed a lesson for me, I can go in to review their work and it will actually show me the breakdown of the students of how many points they got, of how long they spent in the system, of how many um, uh, you know, attempts they made, different things like that. And then if I want to see their responses to specific questions, I can hit the review button and go out and see responses as well. So it really gives you a full on um, way to make the use of, of video in your classroom much more productive. Um, it's also great for homework assignments. Sometimes we want to show students videos, but we don't necessarily have time to eat up that classroom time for that. But if there's an important video that you really want them to watch, it's great to shoot that out as a homework assignment and students can go out, do it on their own. You're getting all their feedback digitally through this tool. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed um, TED Ed and you can find something useful about it. Um, the videos that you can use are all either TED Ed videos or anything from YouTube. Um, so feel free to get creative on this one. Thanks.